Hello, hello again, everyone. It's your favorite San Antonio realtor. I'm Stephanie Arneal, and I'm back. Today, I'm hosting a weekday open house. Why? Why not? If I can get traffic into your home while it's listed and help you get it sold, I don't care when I have to do it, even if it's on a weekday when people may not come by much. We've actually had a couple people come by. It's been awesome. So, uh, this house is four bed, two and a half bath, 2,100 square feet, completely remodeled inside, listed at $470,000. We're in the Encino Park area of San Antonio, um, which is a highly sought after. People always like to buy homes for, some, uh, for their reasons in Encino Park. Um, so here's my phone number so you can call me, text me, let me know what you think, and we can get you in this area. Um, You'll have to tell me what the draw is to you about the Encino Park area because I know what other people say, but I want to hear what you say. I'll give you my contact info again at the end, but let's go check it out. All right, first of all, we're going to start back here this time because I love how they expanded this driveway. It's a two-car garage, but they kind of did another extra half car width on the driveway, which gives a little flexibility. So this home was built in 1983, but you'll see how much remodeling they've done, including putting epoxy on the front steps and front porch, which I think is a cute idea. I've never seen this before, but I'm here for it. We have a cute little front porch. And I will say we are within an H a mandatory HOA. Um, this HOA does kids time at the park. They do music in the park. They have a pool you can belong to in this area. Um, it's like I said, people love to live here for the sense of community um, is what I hear people say, but I wanna hear what you say too. Okay. Beautiful glass door. Let's go in and take a look. As we open the door, you have the stairs to the upstairs. Right away. You can see my partner in crime, Kirsten, over there working her life away. Because one of us has to do the real work while I play with the camera. Right, we have living room. I love this fireplace. I'm always torn. They did paint the stone, which... I think I go back and forth on. Somebody comment and tell me what you think of this. I think it, they painted it a kind of natural color, but it's still like painted rock. I don't know. And then as we go here, we set up our table, table in the dining room because where else do you put a table? I don't know where else you put a table. It's logic. Pretty gold touch chandelier. And then this fun accent wall. And here's our kitchen. Y'all, I love it. Okay, let's see. So that gold from the chandelier, you'll notice they did gold hardware throughout the home. We have a nice deep under the stairs coat closet. We have the vinyl, waterproof vinyl planking throughout the house. Solid surface countertops, white cabinets with the gold trim, stainless steel appliances. It is electric cooking, not gas here in this neighborhood. I like that vent head though. It's very modern. More cabinets here in the island. You can see they, they did the nice soft clothes cabinets. Here's your pantry. And then I've got like an extra living space over here. It actually does count as one of the bedrooms because it's got a closet though. But, or no, it doesn't. It's extra living space. I'm silly. Here's your laundry. Washer on one side, dryer on the other. We have our half bath back here. Toilet. Pretty, right? And it's got it's a little pocket door. And then here's our garage. Which I thought I had unlocked. Sorry. One of our groups who came through must have locked the door. So here's garage. It does have the same epoxy in here. There's a couple of steps down. It's a two car garage plus that extra space. And they did the door with the windows in it so it's really well lit in here. There is a sprinkler system. And you're plumbed for a water softener. We've got attic access and our water heater is right there as well. 
All right. Let's go explore the backyard while we're by the oh, oh my goodness. Feeling aggressive today. Okay. So we go out on the back patio. We've got that same epoxy under this giant covered patio. Look how huge it is. As we come out from under the cover, they did like picket fencing right here and put the AC kind of hidden down back away. It's a large AC unit. Oh my gosh. Let's see. From, from this year too, so it's brand new, which is what I thought. I just didn't want to lie to you. We've got, the fence looks like it's in great condition. Big shed, backyard, good mature trees. Let me show you the back of the house here. There's the back. And we're ooh, less than a half mile. We're like a quarter of a mile from the community pool. So you're walking distance down to the pool from here. I'll show you how to get to that in a little bit. Remember that. <laughs> Hey, this is such a pretty little backyard. Let's go explore bedrooms now. So the only bedroom downstairs is the primary. It's right over here, right off the dining room. Here's the bedroom part. House does have double pane windows on it. They upgraded, it's a very modern light fixture and fan. And then here's our bathroom and closet. It's a double vanity, still the gold trim that can theme continues throughout the house. Cabinets, the same counters as in the kitchen. Two mirrors. This side is where our closet is. Good walk-in closet. And then we have a tub shower combo and the toilet. And look, a whole separate shower also. Everyone can be getting clean all at the same time and not even share space. <laughs> and I love the way they did the insets here. I'm gonna climb in the shower, which sounds weird, but check this out. They did like for one bottle here and the other bottle here, you could do like soap and shampoo or whatever. And a large rain shower head. And stick that water softener in since the water's so hard here. You're winning. All right. Before we go upstairs, I gotta show you that other door though. I skipped it earlier. So right here, we've got a door off the living room to another patio. This is the other side of the house when I said, remember that? We're there. So we've got, it is a big drop off right here that you could, I would add some steps to or something because there's not a gate or anything. It's kind of dead space, but it's a nice little seating area right off the living room. And then that path is where we were a minute ago that takes you to the backyard. And if you look, kind of right over there is the neighborhood pool. Okay, let's go upstairs and finish exploring with our trail of secondary bedrooms. What I do love that they did in this house though, is they did a second uh, accent wall that matches the dining room right here on your landing. I believe at some point this was actually like an open loft area that they closed in. But they did a really good job. And then here's the air handler for the inside. We've got, and I'll tell you, it's working. It's cold in here today. We've got a big, Hall closet. A lot of outlets in it. I'm not sure what I would do with that many plugs in one closet. Somebody comment. Tell me your thoughts. Okay. Here's the first of the secondary bedrooms. Big windows. Oh, here you can see the pool. Here. 
So that blue in there is the water for the neighborhood pool. So it's like one around the corner and down one house and you're there. Um, the same ceiling fan is in the primary. The little closet. And then the next bedroom is bigger, significantly bigger than that other one. Here's its closet with its, which is even bigger than the other one also. And then The last of the bedrooms is kind of in between the sizes of the other two. Here's its closet. Let me not forget to show you. See? It says, and it's got more attic access. And this one has its own door to the bathroom. So it's not a, it's an ensuite, but it also shares, it's a shared bathroom. Um, so it's a shared ensuite, <laughs> Jack and Jill sort of. Um, double vanity, just like the primary with all the finishes. It does have a sunlight. There's your door to the hallway. Linen closet. And then your toilet and tub shower combo, which again are tiled just like downstairs. So what do we think of this one? I think it's really well updated. Um, it's definitely in a highly sought after pop popular part of town. It's got all the good updates. It's the mechanics seem new. Um, everything seems well finished. I've been hanging out here for a while and I haven't found any problems yet. Um, neither have any of the people who have come through, any of our guests. And so there's a lot of opportunity, a lot of possibility. Call me, text me, let's make this house yours or one of the others that are for sale right around it. They don't last long around here. So let me know. As always, I'm Stephanie Arneal. I'm your favorite San Antonio realtor and I'll see you on the next one.